All right. Uh, no. All right. This is no. So, hi. This is a project uh, I made for an Arduino prototyping class. Uh, where the assignment was to make a unreasonable button. Uh, yeah. Let me. All right. Here we go. So the basic idea behind the project is uh, as to make an unreasonable light switch. Uh, I decided the light switch should uh, should require security authentication to use. So uh, with it plugged in right now, if I go ahead and press the button here, you can see the LCD screen here says authentication required. So now if I take this uh, RFID card and hold it in front of the scanner over here, is authorized and then it's going to do a countdown to turn on the LED. And voila! Uh, if I press the button again it's going to ask for authentication again and I can scan the card again. It'll reauthorize and it'll deactivate this time. Yeah. And the last bit, if you try to do it with a the wrong key, for example, this other uh, key file, like RFID file I have, uh, if I hold that in front, it's gonna say the auth authentication failed uh, and it's gonna be locked for the next uh, 28 seconds. I got these little uh, like C-shaped jumper wires to use instead of like these big, like long ones like this. Uh, because that way it made it way easier to make way cleaner wires, like you can see down there, like they're all really, really like low profile. Uh, it doesn't work with all of them because like some of them just have to go too far. Uh, but yeah, I really recommend these to anyone else who has like one of these, one of these, uh, like early, like prototyping kits that come with all these long wires that really, they get really hard to manage. The one other thing is, as you can see, I kind of had to use like all of the the digital outputs on this uh to like to get all this stuff wired into the same arduino so i might go ahead and like buy a bigger one because my friend of mine has one that's like got 50 ports so i can just really not have any limit on that